Hello everyone this video of mine is uh, for class 10 students who are preparing for their board exams uh, dear students at this time uh, you would be busy with the study of the full course and planning for effective revision before exams so i would like to discuss few tips and strategies that might be helpful many of you might have done complete syllabus and a uh, lot of practice but this will uh, surely help you Step 1 is uh, that you must know. You cannot plan and prepare if you don't know what you are supposed to do. So for that you must know units of class 10 mathematics and the chapters in each unit. Then the weightage of different units for board examination. Also you should be acquainted with the typology of questions for maths basic as well as standard. And you should also know the pattern of question paper. Uh, for the year 2021, those who are appearing in the board exam uh, this year, they are supposed to know about the deleted portion of syllabus as well. So uh, this is what you must know. And for knowing this, you can uh, refer to what has been shared by CBSE with you. So there are certain authentic sites that uh, you should refer to and uh, look at uh, instead of going through uh, other uh, sites. So the, there are few sites that can be helpful which you can refer. First is the CBSE academic site. Then uh, for exemplar problems if you want you can go to NCRT uh, exemplar problems. Then there is certain study material uh, which is provided by EduDel that is DOE support material as well as practice papers. Uh, so you can consult that site for the purpose. Then the Diksha government site which is there. Uh, which can uh, provide you certain videos also for uh, your queries you can refer to that so these are a uh, few sites that you can refer second step is to get ready with the study material uh, in the study material obviously we have our ncrt books so do each and every question as well as example of ncrt book for mathematics then refer to ncrt exemplar for extra questions then uh, you can go for uh, various assignments or any particular uh, study material that you are referring to. Besides that, you can also refer to uh, books or sites which are providing practice material. Uh, but be sure that you have done all questions from NCRT book first. That is uh, very important because it helps in building of concepts and uh, uh, your mind is uh, so conditioned that you uh, are able to do different types of questions related to that concept if uh, you have done all questions from your NCRT books. Moving on to step 3, what you must do while preparing for board exams, uh, you should surely uh, manage your time and planner should be made to work methodically. Planners should be prepared day wise. Make sure that you practice maths problems daily. And while you are practicing maths problems, uh, make sure uh, once you have completed the syllabus, the kind of problems that you are pro practicing uh, should be uh, mixed ones. That is, problems from all units which are there in uh, your uh, book uh, in a combined way so that uh, you get a good exposure of solving uh, mixed kind of problems. Then uh, maintain a separate register for formulas and methods. Call this as your formula notebook. To this you can also add various theories uh, and uh, theorems uh, uh, over there. Always summarize a lesson by making mind maps and uh, preserve the same for uh, quick revision work. Uh, using mind map uh, as a technique for revision work is uh, the best strategy that will be uh, really helpful to you all. Now moving ahead to step 4 that is working on the pattern of paper. Once you have done all your lessons from NCRT book, you have done enough practice of all chapters. Then you are supposed to begin with the uh, sample papers and uh, for that you can begin uh, uh, or start attempting sample papers on weekends and then slowly increase the frequency of sample papers to be solved in a week. While solving sample papers, it is very important that you solve it in given time limit uh, because that will help you to complete your papers in the board exam as well. And uh, do solve CBSE standard and basic papers. Don't think that if I have opted for standard, then I will not solve basic paper. Please do solve both the papers. 
and practice all theorems graph work constructions once or twice a week because uh, these questions are on high probability uh, whenever a question paper is prepared for class 10 then practice case studies from all units don't just practice case studies from the units uh, from which the uh, questions are visible in the sample papers provided by cbse but make sure that you revise uh, case studies related to all chapters uh, so that uh, you are able to do them in your papers as well uh, whereas if you have done your ncrt uh, questions concepts theories theorems and all uh, uh, methods uh, uh, nicely and have done enough practice uh, for sure shot you will be able to solve the case studies there uh, one or two reading of the description of case study uh, will uh, uh, acquaint you with the question and uh, you will be able to answer them nicely last but not the least uh, don't take stress concentrate on performing best of your abilities and uh, don't uh, do not worry about much about the end results belief is a very powerful tool so believe in yourself think learn explore and always work with positive attitude these are a few uh, words that are very important for you right now for uh, preparing for board exams practice time management determination self study focus hard work and planning Dear students uh, don't uh, take much stress exercise and meditate as uh, it will also help to improve your concentration indulge your uh, self in uh, activities like going for a walk or cycling that can easily refresh your minds and try to uh, give your best that's all from here thank you so much